I have a list. That's right, a list of things of little projects that I want to do. It gives me an idea for videos and things like that. And on that list, one of them is a draw this in your style or ditzy or however it is that you want to pronounce it because it's now been abbreviated and yeah. So it's a ditzy or uh, draw this in the style or, or whatever and that's what this video is now I've already done the sketch and I actually released that on my Instagram feed during the week so if you go and check that out you can see me get to the sketch sketch phase of this I did eventually do a sort of re sketch of it and refined it a bit more I, I made the arm a little bit smaller and things like that so go and check that out over on my Instagram page which is AJ Creation Studios and you will most certainly get to see some nice little treats. The artist that I am doing the ditzy of is Shikomi Chikoma. Let me just check one moment. Uh, I will just go on this because I did not prepare this whatsoever. Shikiomi, I believe is how it would be pronounced. So Shikiomi is, they're an artist that I'm uh, found on Instagram and I've been following them for a while now and the reason why I started following them was because they did this. I, I love it when artists do this sort of thing where each post has different has a different part of it and they manage to do it so that at certain points it forms a picture on the actual feed. I think that's a really clever thing to do and it is something that I might do in the future. I'm just not 100% sure just yet. But yeah, it's kind of nice and interesting to see artists do that. And I really like the way that uh, Shikiomi has managed to, to do that. They've got a really nice art style and I do employ you to go check it out. Now this ditzy or draw this in your style is for 500 reaching 500 followers actually as we're recording this now she's on 507 fo uh, 707 followers which is uh, amazing I, I, I've kind of like got there when she was about about 300 followers I believe so uh, over the course of like the last six months or so she's managed to boost her follower count quite up so go and check it out and I hope you um, enjoy her art now a little bit about on my art process for this as you're aware I did the initial sketch I did it in like a little tiny sketchbook and then the recording for my Instagram post was done through uh, on, on a bigger on a bigger piece I didn't do the initial sort of like coming up with the idea sort of thing for the clothes I went straight on to that and then I kind of cut out the refinement bit because I'd already done a load of sketching so I didn't put any of the sort of refinement on video. Um, but then I got to the colour part. Now what I did was I scanned it in onto the computer. Now um, Shikiomi did this circle. Obviously she's done it digitally. I am doing it traditionally. So what I did was I put it in onto Clip Studio Paint and arranged it in such a way so that I could do a circle and I erased some of the bits and pieces and I've kind of like done this sort of circle thing for it and I really like that sort of sort of style it's kind of like coming out of the circle slightly um, and I'm just kind of like really happy with how that has turned out I then did my usual sort of um, background where I did a little light did the light wash of the sepia ink um, over like the sort of whole thing so it kind of just gives that bit of tone to it and it kind of comes through it just means you're not working on the stark white paper and then I added and um, because the the actual original piece has load, loads of purples and, and things like that in it I then added sort of a wash of watercolour um, which was a sort of mix between purple and blue I don't know what the, the they are from the tube now I know one of them was violet and the other one I just haven't got a clue because it's kind of already in my watercolor palette which obviously I just use whatever it was but I used the sort of closest blue that I could think of to mix that would mix well with it uh, it was quite difficult to get the values that I wanted to be just purely watercolor that's why I then took to using pencil crayon and I spent the most amount of time using my Prismacolor pencils to build up the colours. I used about 
three or four, maybe even five different sort of purples and blues just to bring out the colour. And I wanted to make it so that the hair was a different shade of purple. And in the actual piece, it kind of, in, in the actual original piece, it is very much sort of like a similar colour for the hair and the blue. But I wanted to really make the hair and the, the sort of dress be, be different and do that and I added the yellow because it's a bit of a complementary colour to the purple it looks quite nice to to that and um, it sort of like just makes it pop a little bit more I think if I did something like not not as much yellow or anything like that uh, but it's just a little touch of yellow that I really really like and the skin tones I'm really happy with how they turned out kind of got a good going thing going with the skin tones because the sepia ink that I use uh, is, is a sort of skin tone type colour, a very sort of dull tone colour so then I can add and build upon that. When I got to sort of like the final stages of this I was really happy with how I managed to get sort of like the highlights on the hair. I used initially a sort of lighter purpley colour, I think it was more sort of um, lavender, a more sort of lavender colour but then I also took to using a white, uh, a white Prisma colour pencil, which is where I used it for the for the streaks of the hair, and I'm really happy with how that actually turned out. I'm happy with the overall piece, and I think I did a good job. I got the anatomy uh, okay-ish. I think I could have done a bit better on the anatomy based on my learnings that I've been doing over the past couple of few few weeks, but um, I'm kind of. Um, getting there with, with that and I quite like the, the dress and I added like a sort of flowy cape to it as well just because I thought it would be a nice sort of touch uh, to to the, the piece and it kind of just meant that there was something on the like on the left so it was kind of like balanced it out slightly um, rather than having it all um, on one on one side I kind of did that and I made sure that that overlapped and um, when I printed it out and I was ready to like start adding the colour. I was like, mm, I needed to add a bit more sort of to the cape. So that's what I did um, there. And I think I did a good job on that. And um, as I say, I'm just really happy with how this turned out. I only, I, I used a sort of limited colours. I didn't go too, too, too much. And I'm kind of really learning how using limited colours works for um, 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 pieces like this. Um, I just think that I've learned quite a lot doing doing this sort of almost I won't say study I mean I'm kind of developing my own sort of style there but I'm really happy with how this turned out and it took me probably four to five hours to do I'm not 100% sure I just, um, obviously but it, it was over the course of like a few few days so I started on Monday and it's now Saturday but I finished it yesterday so yeah, I'm just really happy with how it turned out. I'm, I'm actually quite happy with the eyes as well. The eyes, sort of, uh, uh, although I would have liked to have got a bit more detail, um, but yeah, that's kind of like where, where it is with that. I also would just like to apologize. Apparently I did not have my camera set up in the best sort of way um, because you managed to see uh, like the side of my head on occasions and I think it also covers it. So I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to get something sorted so that I can um, so that they can, you don't see my head and also my hair was like really messy so you see wisps of hair um, so I hope it doesn't get too distracting but because it's going to be sped up it shouldn't be that much of a problem well I really hope that you enjoyed this video I certainly enjoyed uh, creating the piece for this video which is kind of what I want to be doing I don't want to have to be worrying about camera setup and things like that I want to be able to just sit down draw put, turn the camera on without having to worry about it without having to faff about with it and things like that and that's what i managed to do with this piece i kind of just sat down i mean on friday i must have finished work at 3 30 had about an hour just where i just chilled for a bit and then sat down from 4 30 5 o'clock and i didn't like prop i didn't finish really until like i don't know 8 30. Um, I did stop every now and then to let the paint dry because that's one of my flaws is not letting paint dry. But yeah, um, as I say, go check out the Instagram where I show you like the sort of sketch process for that and check out my clean, clean 
video skills now where I managed to get really nice, clear and crisp footage, which I'm really happy with. I'm, I'm so happy that I'm able to sort of like get that quality that I really always wanted uh, for my videos and it kind of pushed me on to, to, to keep doing more now. Um, go and subscribe to my channel, like this video if you like the video and leave a comment, tell me what you thought of it and I will see you later.